Hi everyone, I'm Brad with Riot Glass and today I wanted to make a quick video to address the number one question we get here at Riot Glass and that is, what is AP25? AP stands for our Armor Plast series, anything that's plastics basically, polycarbonates, acrylics or other plastics will fall under the AP series uh, nomenclature. We also have our RG series which is anything that's glass clad or has glass in it such as this very thick ballistic glass here. This would be our RG series. And I'll do videos on that in, in a, at a different time. Today, again, we want to cover the AP series and particularly the AP25. So when you look at on our website and you look under the products right now, you'll see the, the AP series comes in AP25, AP50, AP75. That just stands for the decimal thickness. So instead of a fraction like a quarter inch, we have 0.25 inch or 0.50 inch would be the Armorplast 50, for example. Uh, three quarter inch material would be the AP 75. These are getting up into the ballistic grade uh, polycarbonate combinations, acrylics and other plastics that make up the AP series of the Armorplast series. So the AP 25 is our quarter inch thick material. It's not ballistic. And I want to make the distinction between a ballistic and uh, something that would keep a shooter out of a building. In the testing, you'll see that we shoot 762 rounds through our AP25 system and then proceed to basically try to destroy it with sledgehammers and every other kind of tool to show that once it's got bullet holes in it, it still maintains its integrity in terms of keeping someone out of the building, in terms of keeping someone's hand from getting through and un unlocking the fire egress hardware or the thumb turn on the mortise lock. So all of these things are extremely important um, to understand. It's not stopping a bullet. Never want to ask, well, if it's not stopping a bullet, why do you have, you know, what good is it? And the answer to that question is it's inexpensive. It can be applied to very, very cheaply to existing glazing. And that's really the nature of the product is it's a retrofit product that goes on existing glass or in front of existing glass as a, as a shield. And then once it's, if someone does start shooting into the building, generally everyone runs. And so while you still could have casualties or injuries as a result of those bullets going through, uh, the bad guys are not going to be able to get in the building. And once they're in the building, things go from bad to infinitely worse. You've now got an armed intruder who very quickly made entry and is now hunting through the building. This is the worst case, horrible scenario that we've seen in the past. So why wouldn't you just put ballistic glazing in, in all schools? Well, you would and you will if you have the, the budget for it. But if you don't, like many schools, your budget's really strained. And while you, you might be able to get a grant, uh, it's limited to in, in either size or scope. So we may do window film in some areas and the most vulnerable areas will put the AP25 system. Or in some cases, we'll use ballistic glazing in the main entrance and then we'll put AP25 and other entrances. But AP25 goes much further than just the schools and active shooter mitigation, although that was one of the original intents for its in, uh, invention. Uh, we have now adapted that to pretty much all force entry to any building, any structure. And it's particularly popular right now in the retail uh, due to the rise that we've seen recently. And uh, we've got a viral video out there showing, you know, guys trying to get in for an hour, they couldn't get in. So. The AP25 really is a, um, a force entry mitigation and it's very lightweight, so it can be adapted onto existing doors. It can fit into almost and onto almost any type of framing, whether it's wood, storefront framing, um, curtain wall, old, new, any type of glass, any type of you know paint, we can powder coat it. It does come in, got some samples here. This is our bronze. And you can see that it fits right in there, very small footprint. This is the actual Armorplast framing. This is the Armorplast panel. And you can see that there is the, the glass and then our panel is in front of the glass. And it fits in there, but it looks seamless. So it doesn't really cut down on the sight line in any way. Uh, noticeably, it only adds about an inch around the perimeter of the window and it's virtually impenetrable. You can shoot bullets through it, but still can't get in. You can smash it with sledgehammers and can't get in, rocks, you name it. It's, we call it invisible steel. It's really like sort of like an invisible board up. So you, you, know, you can board up, but you never know when a riot or someone's gonna try to break into your store. If there's a, a, a known time, like around the elections, for example, where everyone was boarding up, this was really popular, but it goes well beyond that because 
there will be riots in the future and you never know what's going to spark them and you don't have time to board up generally ahead of them. That also comes in clear and again, almost invisible, very small footprint here, less than an inch in height all the way around. But this framing is proprietary. It really does an amazing job of holding this AP25 panel into the frame despite you know extreme duress. Uh, very heavy tools, multiple tools, multiple attackers. And it can be powder coated. We do stock it in mill finish and we can powder coat it in virtually any color. Another beautiful thing about it is its adaptability to doors. We have a little bit different framing here. It's very clean. You can see the bottom here. It's got a nice clean return. And you would never know that's on the door. In fact, it's independent of the stops. There's the door stops behind there. And you can see here's the storefront glass. This could be dual pane or single pane. It doesn't matter. AP25 surface mount fits on both. And so here's our panel in front protecting that glass. And it's independent of the stop. So even though the stops and the glass may completely, you know, break and fly out of there, our system is on the frame and it's not coming off. So uh, the doors are the number one place it's attacked. And you can see this actually is a cutaway of a storefront door with the framing system mounted on there. And really no one knows it's on there. The handles mount on top of our system. And so they don't really um, create it. There's no issue with uh, the clearance of the handle because it's raised up. We use a, a longer shoulder bolt in order to uh, still make it through the door, even though we're adding a little bit less than a half an inch of the, the profile of the door. When you open the door, you can't feel it. It doesn't add to the weight. The closers are fine. The hinges are fine. So really that's what AP25 is. It's a very lightweight, adaptable force entry mitigation product. Uh, I come from the window film industry originally, and uh, you know we've done a lot of testing. Window films are great on annealed glass, but most storefronts are tempered glass. And even when attached window films are you know, they're just going to last a few seconds against the sledgehammer, if even that, usually one, one or two hits with a heavy tool and it's going to, even thick films are going to fail. Um, it's just the unfortunate reality of it. But window films are great for, uh, again, annealed glass, which breaks into big shards. And so we use window film, especially double-sided window film, film on both sides of the glass, plus attachment on the inside works really well. I can tell you I've smashed a lot of windows and uh, it's hard to get through annealed glass with double-sided film and attached on the inside. So oftentimes to save on budget, we'll use AP25 in certain areas down on the ground level, for example, um, upper where someone might stand on something and try and break through and it's annealed glass uh, because it's up off the ground. It can be by code, it can be annealed. Oftentimes we'll use double-sided window film with attachment on that. Uh, so uh, AP25 is sold through Riot Glass's dealer network. We have dealers all around the country. So don't worry if you have a big national uh, rollout or you have um, you know, buildings throughout the country. We can cover, you know, again, all 50 states. We have, if we don't have a dealer in the, straight, in the state, we do have a strike team that we can fly in from our sister company, Campbell Corporation, to get the install done for you. Cost-wise, we like to say that uh, window film will get you about, uh, it's about a dollar a second before someone's in your building. Where Armorplast, we've tested it uh, multiple times, not only in the laboratory, and you can look right here and check out the video on the laboratory testing, but it's been tested a lot out in the streets in, in real life. And uh, I can tell you, we've got tons of video that are very happy customers send to us. And in most cases, it doesn't even break the glass. So keep that in mind. If you've got really expensive, you know, thick glass and people are breaking either vandals or attempted burglars, you're paying a fortune to replace that glass. So while it's great to have a ballistic grade glass, if you're in an area that's susceptible to, you know, homeless people or whomever uh, vagrants might be walking around smashing windows, or you're, you know, somewhere where someone just keeps vandalizing you because they're trying to get back at you or whatever the case, we see all sorts of things here at Riot Glass. Um, I would say that this is a great shield for your glass. We can offset it to create an airspace. And while there's no guarantee that it will 100% every time protect the glass, I would say in most cases, it depends on the, the tool, of course, but if in most cases it does protect the glass. So we're, the glass is not breaking, the tools are bouncing off of the armor plast, and the customer arrives and many times we had one, one store where they didn't even realize they were getting attacked. They were outside cleaning the windows and noticed there were some marks on the windows. They went back in, into the security archives and started finding break-in attempt after break-in attempt. I believe they went back and, and found seven separate break-in attempts 
that they didn't even know about, didn't set the alarm off, no one got in, no one even knew that the break-in attempt had occurred. So, you know, for a lot of reasons, uh, armor plast being under windows, even if they do break the window, it stays in place, so they still can't get into the building. So if you hit it like a door, for example, with the 13-pound sledgehammer, it's likely that if they hit it a couple of times, the glass might break. But the armor plast stays in place. They still don't get in the building, and the next morning you just sweep up the glass have your glazer order your new glass, but in the meantime, you're covered. You don't have to worry about someone getting in and you don't have to put a, you know, this board up, a board on the window. So you don't have emergency board up service. Uh, you don't have to replace it right away. So it's business as usual until whenever that glass comes in. And I can tell you the lack of downtime after an event like this, uh, not to mention no one got in the building. So the merchandise is safe. And in some cases there are people in the building and the people were safe. So, for all those reasons, this is a really good product. It's lightweight and cost-wise, it's it's a little bit more than, than window film uh, because of the nature of the panels. It's expensive material, but it's not that much more considering that you're getting virtually uh, no time limit. In fact, uh, in that video we have here on our YouTube page called LA Rioters, uh, Riot Glass versus LA Rioters, that video shows attackers were there for an hour and couldn't get in. So. The cops weren't coming during the riots. You know, you've got uh, an unknown amount of time before anyone will be, be able to get there to, to save your building. So we've, you know, heard from some of our customers where they just watched in horror remotely from their security cameras while, while their buildings were getting looted and burned. So we want to avoid all that. And you can do that relatively cheaply. Think about that. I mean, expensive is a relative term, right? How much does it cost you in downtime? How much does it cost you in lost merchandise? How much does it cost in pain and anguish in the emotional end of having your building, you know, rummaged through or looted or even some of your prized possessions stolen? Um, you know, the, the cost of insurance, the cost of replacement of, of the glass, the downtime, it adds up. So when you're considering Armor Plus 25, consider that it is extremely adaptable and it uh, can save your glass it is low cost. You don't need to change the door closers or the hinges. We can get a strike team in anywhere in the country and get this done for you or any of your stores in a rollout or government buildings, schools, you name it. One last thing I will say, we also offer ballistic, what we call back glazing. So AP25 by nature, it's going on the outside of the building. So it's on the outside. This would be the attack side over here. This would be the safe side in, inside the building here. So people are hitting this panel and not your glass. So even, even if the glass breaks, which it rarely does with this much of an air gap cushion, uh, they're still not getting in the building. This is what we call overglazing on the outside of the building, okay? And we also have very narrow framing like this if we wanna do what was called an uh, back glazing, where we're going inside this is an offset storefront system that has a deep shelf on the inside. You see this with curtain wall a lot too. And we've put our armor plast panel on the inside of the building. So this would be the attack side and you would lose your glass if someone shot through it, but then it would hit our ballistic glazing and stop a bullet. And that fits very neatly from the inside. You would really never even know that was on there. Um, obviously this piece is shot up so you can see it, but if it weren't, you'd have a nice, clean, clear view out. And this is what we call back glazing on the inside of the building. I'll do, a, I'll do more videos on that later. Um, we can't back glaze that thick of material on doors, so I'll often replace the doors. But uh, again, we'll, we'll cover ballistics and all of those things uh, in a future video. Uh, if you like this content and you got something out of it, please hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification so that you know when we post new videos. It's been great chatting with you. Thanks so much for watching. Again, I'm Brad with Riot Glass, and we'll see you on the next video.